And we're back with more news from Computex. Uh, now it's time for Team Group with their new slogan for this year, Computex 2024, Elevate Gaming, Empower AI. So we have, of course, loads of new stuff, new color schemes on some RAMs, RGB and, well, quite huge performance when we're talking about uh, DDR5, we're talking about uh, Gen 5 SSDs, huge improvement when we're talking about storage, speed, latency, and all the other stuff. So let's check that out. So as you can see, we have the black extreme DDR5, which you've already seen on the channel, but we go to these ones. Now we have two different color schemes, which give you an option to adjust to your setup. We have the extreme DDR5 in white, and of course we have it in pink now. The cool thing about these ones, specifically these ones, they managed to overclock them to 10,000 megahertz, which is outstanding. And right now we have even the white version DDR5 Extreme RGB, as well as the black version, which we actually saw last time at last Computex. And now, as I said, we have them in white, quite cool. Possibility to adjust to your setup, to your build, and give you loads of options. And this is the build that they actually managed to overclock and do wonders with it. But there are also some other products here that you can see on this build, but we'll get to them quite shortly with future stuff. Let's go. This right here is the AI workstation, which uh, has some storage recommendations, lower latency, 50% performance boost. And as you can see, all slots filled up with their uh, T-Create AI Master DDI DDR5. And uh, there's something new here also. We have an AIO that actually cools the Threadripper, which is quite interesting because I, honestly, I didn't see this one coming. So the RAMs that are here, we have T-Create Master AI DDR5 on 64,000 megahertz, eight times 32 gigs. We also have the AI Classic M.2 SSDs, but we'll get to those quite shortly. These are basically i54 PCI 5.0 SSD, maximum four terabytes that go up to 26 microseconds access time. And this part right here that you can see, in Power AI, we have loads of DDR5 and M.2 SSDs. So let's start with first i54 PCI 5.0 SSD, which is Gen 5 3D TLC NAND. We could get speeds up to 14,000 megabytes per second read and write goes up to 11,800 megabytes with storage capacity 1, 2, and 4 terabytes. T Create Master AI DDR5 memory which basically go from 6,000 to 6,800, 64 to 192 gigabytes, uh, which is outstanding. So DDR5 288 pin ECC registered DIMM. Now, next in line, we have Gen 4 SSDs. These are classic AI series, i47 PCI 4.0, which come with only two storage capacities, but four and eight terabytes and go up to 7,200 megabytes read and 6,800 megabytes per second write. Next in line, we have Expert AI Series Cam 2, which are designed for AI laptops. Let's see when this takes over the world. Just kidding. Let's go. Classic DDR5 laptop memory. We also have them in SODIM as well as the AI CKD. Now, this is also an important feature for DRAMs. We're talking here about DDR5, 7200 megahertz, 16 to 96 gigabytes. And uh, quite interesting above, we have the Expert AI without the CKD, so these are a bit different. We're talking about uh, 6,000 to 7,600 and 32 gigabytes to 96 gigabytes. All in all, prepared for AI, here we go. Now, these ones as well, so just a bit of a showcase. There are a couple of major points, selling points in terms of, uh, not only selling points, but also quite interesting points here regarding preparation for AI regarding the huge capacity, fast speeds, and low latency. Right here we have the TK8 P35 USB 3.2 Generation 2 Security Portable SSD, which can be encrypted. And you have TCG OPPO 2.0 with AES 256-bit hardware encryption for data security, so you can secure your data here. And next you have the TK8 P34F, which has, um, let's say, a Bluetooth tag or a um, possibility to find your SSD if by any chance you lost it with your phone, which is quite handy sometimes if you're on the go in an adventure and you want to record everything to your additional SSD. 
Now these right here, we're going back to their AAOs. We have Siren DP360 and GA360M. And the cool thing about these ones is that you have the possibility to magnetically remove the top. So even this cover looks outstanding. You can add the screen or you can add the RGB cover. Also, additionally to that, these can be sold and bought like accessories. So basically, if you go with this one, which also looks cool, it's like no need for RGB. If you decide to go with RGB, you can go with this one. Or if you decide to go with an LCD screen, you can do this. They are connected with USB Type-C cable, which is fairly okay. It would be much better if it was angled, but still cool. And then we go to the next part. Oh, the we okay. have the Dark Elf Roll D5, which has the possibility to be adjusted by angle. This gives you an option to remove your RAMs if you need to swap them, change them, or do whatever. You can rotate them, place them here, rotate them towards your VRMs if you don't want to cool your RAMs, or you can do the opposite. So it gives you an option to rotate them by 360 degrees okay. or flip them by 180, giving you basically all the possibilities and they are only connected with these two screws directly to your motherboard their second motor is green innovation protecting uh, our planet which comes to a point where you actually saw a couple of reviews we had the vulcan echo and we had that uh, team group c175 echo uh, usb we also have the 20 which is also echo Vulcan Echo, which you already saw plenty on my channel. And of course, we have something new, which uh, we haven't seen so far. These are Delta Echo RGB DDR5 desktop memories, which, as you can see, if you want to go with RGB, there's a possibility for that. There we go. And if you don't want to go with RGB, then we have the Vulcan DDR5 Echo memories, which are uh, recycled aluminum, but you have the, all those informations on the specific review. So now we're talking about Cinema PR, and these are T Create Cinema PR P31 portable SSDs. Now you have a patented one quarter inch screw holes all over the SSD, which give you a possibility to mount it on any type of cage on your, for instance, Black Magic camera, which I have back at home, uh, which would be definitely a suitable addition to the whole rig that I have back at the studio which gives you an option to not only be able to mount it like regular um, regular external SSDs in terms of placing them on some sort of holders, but this gives you an option to regulate and place them anywhere on your cage. As you can see, there are multiple mounting positions here on the right side, on top, top different uh, orientation, uh, top again different orientation. Then the possibility for a certain cage that is designed specifically for iPhone. Uh, then next to that, we have something else. But quickly, let me just show you this. So this is another quite good example on how are you able to mount it. Then let's go here. We have T-Create Cinema PR P33 portable SSD, which you it you it's using USB 3.2 generation 2 X1 Type C. Now this is 3D NAND, 1, 2, and 4 terabyte speeds up to 2000 megabytes per second. T-Create Cinema PR R31. Well, let me just do a close-up for you guys. Uh, CF Express 4.0 card reader. Now USB 4.0 Type-C gives you a possibility to transfer data with some astonishing speeds. 3600 megabytes uh, per second read and 3200 megabytes per second write. After that, we go to the next tab. Now this is T-Create Classic P51 Thunderbolt 5 portable SSD with Thunderbolt 5 Type-C connection, speeds ranging up to 6,000 megabytes per second. This is definitely something insane for you that want to record high resolution, high bit rate and everything all together, you won't regret it. Uh, storage capacity 1, 2 and 4 terabytes. And finally, we go with the last for the Cinema PR or T-Create. This is T-Create Expert P32 portable SSD. USB 3.2 generation 2 X2 type C, which needs an additional power source, so 12 volts. And we have read write speeds up to 2000 megabytes. But the cool thing is that the storage capacity here goes from 8 terabyte to 16 terabytes. This is why you actually need an additional uh, power supply.
So let's move forward to T Create Expert uh, card reader series, uh, CF Express series, and SD series. We'll start with the Expert R31. This is three in one memory card reader, USB Gen 2 times 2 Type C. Next to that, we have the Expert uh, CF Express 2.0 Type B, T Create Expert CF Express 2.0 Plus Type B. Then we have Expert SDXC V30. V90 and V60, and of course we have extra smart micro SDXC. Uh, loads of possibilities when we're talking about storage capacity in general, because the smaller one goes up to two terabytes. The regular SDXC we have from 64 gigs to 512, and 64 gigs to one terabyte. Next in line, T-Create Cinema PR R31, and uh, uh, T-Create Expert CF Express Pro 4.0 Type B, and Pro Plus 4.0 Type B as well. So right here we have six prototypes for uh, Gen 5 uh, SSD cooling, so M.2. We have a dark airflow SSD cooler, which has, as you can see right here, a fan in the middle heatsink around. Then we have a passive heatsink completely, and the fan actually at the back, which I didn't notice at first. This is dark airflow 03 SSD cooler. Then we go next with uh, another almost look like a passive cooler, but we have a fan at the back as well. I think it's the same fan from all of these three. And uh, this is Dark Airflow uh, 04 SSD cooler, again. Uh, then we go next. It's all about different shapes, different uh, heat dissipation and uh, similar stuff. We're talking here now again with uh, Dark Airflow 05. Finally, this is uh, kind of cool because you see you have two fans right here on the side. This is Dark Airflow 06 SSD. What happens with this one? You can stack them up quite nicely with the magnet with the magnet and the connection runs here. This can definitely be maybe a bit shorter or you could definitely do some cable management since after all, this is going in a rig that isn't mostly visible. But regardless of that, this is a nice passive cooler without a doubt, has a chunk, has a possibility for a nice heat dissipation in general with nice airflow, similar stuff like that. And then we go with water flow. This is dark water flow 01 SSD cooler. It has a fan right here. It has, I think it has some sort of a heat pipes that can translate the water through it, giving you nice heat dissipation. This kind of, let's say this here uh, explains it a lot with uh, minimum integrated all-in-one water cooler for PCIe SSD. Now, here, one more thing before we go to the M.2 SSDs. This is T-Force M400 USB 4.0 portable SSD, 3D NAND, read-write speed, 3700 megabytes per second, 3400 megabytes per second write, 1, 2, and 4 terabytes of storage. A bit bigger than usual when we're talking about uh, their external SSDs. And finally, for the Gen 5 and Gen 4, their new generation of uh, M.2 SSDs, we, sw we start with G50. This is Gen 4, 5, gigabit per 5 gigabytes per second write. Then we have a quite smaller one, M.2 Gen 4, which is still cold, but this is RQ cold, also G50. M.2 Gen 5 GE Pro, 14 gigabytes per second re read speeds, which is totally insane. And you already know the Gen 5 do tend to heat up a bit, so this is why we have these prototypes right there. Next in line, Gen 4 G70 Pro 7.4 7 7 7 gigabytes per second read. After that, M.2 Gen 5 uh, GE, 12 gigabytes per second read. And then we have finally M.2 Gen 5 GA Pro. This is 10 gigabytes per second read. So basically, as we have for Gen 4, we have for Gen 5 as well, different reads and writes. So it depends on uh, your needs and everything that you desire to do so. Because of course, the lower speeds, it's going to be, they're going to have lower terminals without a doubt. Finally, we have Z4 and Z5, which I already covered a uh, couple of those, so Z540 and Z44 A5, which I covered over the on channel, so you can see those reviews over there. But here we go, so Prime Gen 5 M.2 PCI SSDs, we have 14 gigabytes per second pro speed performance with eight terabytes of storage capacity, which is definitely insane. And that's a ref from Team Group Products. As you can see, they have loads of products, including uh, some uh, AI compatible in terms of high storage, uh, CKD, uh, low latency and, uh, well, quite uh, impressive speeds without a doubt. Some uh, patented stuff uh, regarding the Cinema PR uh, external SSDs for your Blackmagic cameras or just in general recording 
uh, high uh, bandwidth, uh, high resolution videos. In general, all, all together, quite impressive products as per usual, as I uh, was impressed last year, nothing new happens this year in terms of impressing me with uh, their product line, giving uh, us uh, loads of options, loads of possibilities, high frequencies, high uh, storage capabilities and everything that I mentioned that is already compatible for the AI ready uh, stuff. And guys, that's it. That's a wrap for Team Group. See you in a new video. Thanks. Bye bye.